All right, man, so you guys did some uh, training and conditioning today. Just talk about how that went. Uh, it went good. Um, we've been doing this, I think, for three, four weeks now, I want to say. And uh, I mean, we're just getting better every day at it. And, and at first, first day we came out, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people were, were getting tired and kind of just getting back into the, the momentum of working hard and, and stuff. And but now, I mean, uh, three weeks into, four weeks into, and a week away from spring ball, everyone's really working now. And and uh, we had a great motivational speech today too uh, from Jeff Eden, or even he came in and told us uh, his story. He, he used to be a principal over at Clovis East High School, and he came in and kind of told us his story and his background, and it kind of opened up a lot of guys and, and it kind of opened your eyes up to to kind of stop feeling sorry for yourself from the stuff that he uh, went through. But uh, no, I mean, it, it's, it's a good time right now. We're just kind of getting better and, and uh, doing the right thing. All right, uh, any numbers that you put up today that you feel comfortable sharing with us? Oh, I mean, today, I mean, we didn't really time and stuff. Uh, we did 40s and stuff the other day, and we don't know really our exact time because um, they kind of did an average for it and averaged mm -hmm. everything out. But uh, no, I mean, today we, we kind of just compete against each other. We don't really time anything. And, and um, it's kind of get out here and just whoever shows up next to you. I mean, every, every drill we do is competition. And then you get in the mat drill, and there's about eight or nine guys that go at a time. So um, it's all just competition against each other. And you're, you're not really trying to beat your own time. You're trying to beat the guy next to you and then make the guy next to you work harder. So um, yeah, this is a good time to get out here to compete. Speaking of competition, uh, quarterback competition here is mm -hmm. going to be pretty intense. Uh, assuming Matt Barkley keeps the spot, which we yeah, think yeah, we yeah. could assume. But after he leaves, you know, three guys, yeah. same year. Jess is obviously a red shirt, but same year. So just, just talk about how that motivates you and pushes you to be a better player. Uh, I mean, it, it definitely uh, has a big part to do with it, knowing that. But I mean, that's everywhere you go. And I mean, NFL, even in high school, everywhere you go, there's always some guy that wants your spot. And, and Matt knows that too. I mean, we're not. We're not coming in here saying, okay, we're going to battle for the backup. We're going to push Matt every day and, and work for his spot. And But, I mean, at the same time, Matt's such a great guy to learn from. And, and especially, I mean, being his fourth year here, being a starter, and uh, there's really no one uh, better to learn from. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's kind of an advantage you get next year to learn from him. But, I mean, at the same time, we're all kind of hungry for that spot. So, yeah. so we're just kind of waiting. But at the same time, uh, we're trying to get as, as good as we can and get better and push each other. All right. All right. You would, there's a lot of great wide receivers here. There's actually a lot of people think that this uh, wide receiver group has the potential to be the best ever here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just talk about throwing to those guys and what oh, they do for you. I'm, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I mean, there's, um, especially, I mean, Robert Woods come back for his third year, and then Marquise Lee had a great year last year. And uh, now George Farmer getting to show what he can do and everything. And, and then other guys like Victor Blackwell and Von Florida. I mean, we, we were pretty set at receiver and stuff. And then we got guys coming in. So um, just the athletes here and even our, our tight ends, are, I mean, could play outside and play receiver and stuff. So just kind of the guys you have here and our running backs out of the backfield can catch. So it's kind of shows that some of the athletes here are just freaks. Like, I mean, you, yeah. they go, I mean, guys like Marquise and, and, uh, and Nikel and, and Tony and DJ go out to track and start killing times at track. So, I mean, it's, it's not like everyone just kind of has their one rule. I mean, everyone's an athlete on the field. Everyone can do it. And that's how practice is every day. Practice like an all-star game, basically, it seems like. So uh, it's, it's awesome having those guys to kind of throw, throw to and then knowing that if you throw it up, they're going to come down with it. So, I mean, it's a good feeling to have, especially quarterback, knowing that you can trust those guys that are jumping 38, 39-inch vertical. So. Talk about uh, Coach Clay Helton, how he mm -hmm. pushes you to be better, and talk about what he has uh, you working on for this yeah. upcoming season, like mechanics-wise. Um, I mean, Coach Helton's awesome. I'm, I'm, this is my second year working with him now, and and he recruited me all the way through high school and stuff. And uh, he's just a great guy. I mean, awesome. He he really knows football. And, and there's one person you want to go sit down and just listen, talk about football. That's he's the guy to go to. And and he knows all the ins and outs of defenses, or how to read a defense, how to what to expect on a play, and everything. And and uh, he prepares you better than anyone else that I've ever played for, I've ever seen. And, and it's pretty awesome having him uh, in your corner, helping you out and stuff. And and I, I mean, I guess all the guys can vouch for him. I mean, just saying how great a co coach he is. And uh, at the same time, it's it's nice having him show you stuff on like on the film and, and breaking it down for you, and then having Matt on the field telling you what to actually expect in the game situation. Um, but no, Coach Helen's awesome, and, and he I mean the big, biggest thing that he emphasizes is, I mean, is just accuracy and everything and, and timing, and uh, I mean decision making are the biggest things that he he really emphasizes to us. And I mean just also just get, get as much film as you can because you never watch enough film and, and never know the playbook enough. So yeah. All right, one last question. I'll let you run. Just uh, tell us what your goals are this season. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, definitely team goal. I mean, win the national championship. I mean, obviously that's going defeated. And uh, but I think, I mean, I haven't really thought about any individual goals because I mean everything we do is a team. But uh, I mean, just, just continue to get better and continue to improve and, and just work my butt off as, as much as I can and, and just keep pushing Matt and pushing the other guys around us and, and still, I mean, learn from their guys' mistakes and then learn from from their advantages and see what they do. So I mean, it's kind of 
working to push your team to get better. You're not really trying to just make yourself better because if you did that, I mean, the whole team would fall apart. So you're trying to make the guy next to you better and at the same time get better off of them. So, uh, I mean, just overall, just, just compete and, and have a good time with the teammates and everything. All right.